What's up, YouTube? It's Brian Pfeiffer, marketingmeathead.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about credit cards and a little trick I found that's been working for me for getting more credit cards to run Facebook ads. All right, so if you guys know anything about running Facebook ads, if you get an account banned and it's attached to um, a credit card, even if it's a business manager, back in the day it was a little bit less of a thing or a little bit more of a thing than it is now. Generally what I do is I set up a, a main business credit card as the business manager main card. And then, um, you know, I've had business managers go down. I've had ad accounts go down. And then, um, you know, Facebook can pretty much link credit cards from, you know, an ad account to a business manager to another business manager to another ad account. So what I found over the years uh, when you start getting issues with account bans uh, for whatever reason, uh, right now with the, uh, you know, all the political stuff that's going on, there's a, you know, they, they straight up admitted to me that they're over zealous with their bans right now. So I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks after the uh, good old election, the account bans slow down a little bit and we can get back to running some serious traffic. But, um, you know, I had to get some new credit cards because I did lose a few business managers and a couple personal profiles. I did lose a um, couple ad accounts and whatnot. But uh, we're, we're gearing up for uh, the rest of the quarter four here after the election and, uh, you know, going into the winter months, which are typically really good months for affiliate marketing. So um, what I did with the credit cards is um, I, I got some satellite offices, some people that I know um, that are not connected to me in any way on Facebook, uh, like a friend of a friend, and uh, I've negotiated to deal with them to use their age profile. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is run ads out of their, um, you know, out of their age profile from their IP uh, through a laptop that I supplied uh, through TeamViewer. Okay, but then what I want to do is set up like a legit business uh, with a separate EIN, uh, separate business name, uh, separate LLC, and then that'll all be set up on like a satellite office. So my Right now, I have two businesses that are actually okay to advertise still, but I'd rather have a, a couple backups just in case something goes down. Uh, and they do like what's called a sweep, and they wipe out a bunch of stuff all at once. Uh, I want to have like separate businesses, separate profiles, se separate offices. And um, in order to do that, I have to have credit cards that are, um, you know, I have them in the business name, but I, it's kind of better, I think, if you actually put it in the person's name that's actually attached to the business manager. Okay, it looks more legit in Facebook size. Uh, so what I did is I got some credit cards in those people's names, and um, I was always running into the issue whenever I'd get the card, I would have to get their social security number for them to verify the card. And that was always kind of a problem because some of these people don't want to give out their social security number, which I understand. I don't like giving out my social security number myself. So I figured uh, a way around this, okay? So instead of going online and doing like, you know, the chase.com slash activate or the capital one uh, dot com slash activate, um, I've tried this now with Chase and Capital One, and it worked with both. Um, I get the credit cards and company credit cards sent in their name. Okay, you don't have to put the SSN number in when you apply to get an employee credit card. When the card arrives, instead of going online to activate the card, call them on the 1-800 number that comes on the um, you know the paperwork when they get the card. Call the 1-800 number. Basically, just put in the credit card numbers. It's going to ask you um, maybe a couple questions like. Uh, uh, I know that um, Chase asked me what my mother's maiden name was, and it asked me for the primary cardholder's um, social security number, the last four digits. And I put that in, and boom, the card was verified. I did not need their, um, I did not need their social security number, and I did not need them to verify it. So now I have uh, four credit cards here: three with Chase and one with Capital One, and I can pretty much get credit cards whatever I want. I just put the name in, have it sent to my house. I call the one eight hundred number put in my info and uh, now I got a credit card in the other person's name and I am ready to go. Okay, so uh, that is the uh, the lesson for today, guys. Don't uh, um, go on to the uh, chase.com slash activate or the capital one.com slash activate. I'm gonna guess this will work with American Express too. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm gonna guess it will. Um, and you can actually do the phone call instead, and you can verify these cards and activate them without actually needing the other person's social security number, uh, which is definitely a uh, big plus. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's quick tip on uh, affiliate marketing and credit cards with Facebook. I am Brian Pfeiffer. Make sure you like, subscribe, bang the notification bell on the market. We'll talk to you later.